Today I just want to show you how to put line onto your new Beaver Dam tip up. We've had a few phone calls and emails this uh, this winter, people wondering how to put line on and what a finished uh, tip up should look like when it's ready to fish. So it's pretty simple, and I'm going to take a few minutes here and show you a couple different ways to do it. Um, first off, you have to have some tip up line. And you're going to take your tip up, and you're going to get it so it's set like so. Take your tip up line, and I like to just make a, a loop. Make it a loop, I'm going to tie a knot like this. I'm folding the line over in my hand. I've got a fairly long tag, and I'm just going to tie a knot. And what I've done is I've created a small little loop that you can see there. So just a tiny little loop. I'm going to cut off that excess tag that I've got. My scissors maybe leave about um, an eighth of an inch. So I cut that off and now what I'm going to do is take my line, my, my line that I've got right here, I'm going to push it back through that loop and now what I've created is a bigger loop here that I can cinch down. So I just cinch that down onto my fingers like so. I'm going to take that line and I'm actually going to push it now through the line guide and then over and around my spool. So now what's going to happen is it's cinched down onto my spool. Nice and tight. I didn't have to worry about trying to make some sort of slip knot or anything. It's tightened up like so. And now I can just take, and here's a couple of different ways to do it. Take your finger and just start spinning. And that's going to spin line right onto your, uh, onto your spool. There's a little rubber stopper right here that you can slide over. And now as you're putting that line on, you can move the line guide back and forth to get it on there evenly. And just keep spinning it until you're filled all the way up. And you're going to know that you've filled up your spool when you are just before the little holes that are used to, uh, to hold your flag down when you've got that tip up in the compact position for storage or when you've got it set in like so. So that's one simple way to do it. Just put that line on there and boom, start using your finger and slowly bringing it up. Um, sometimes I do it that way, but other times I'm, I'm lazy and I want to get things done fast. So what I do is I take a drill Got my drill right here, the same one that I use for punching holes in the ice. And I'm going to take and attach that drill onto my T-bar and tighten it up. So I've tightened it up. And now, just take the drill, and I've got it going the wrong way, of course, right there. And boom, it's winding that up. simple. Once you've got enough line on there, uh, what you're going to do is simply cut that with the scissors and then you're going to end up attaching your leader. Um, I prefer to use beaver dam fluorocarbon leaders or beaver dam liquid steel leaders. It uh, depends on what you're fishing for, walleyes or pike or just your own personal preference, what type of leader you like to use. Here's a tip up that's ready to go. This is in storage mode right now, ready to get out onto the ice and drill some holes. Um, what I would do to, to get fishing is unhook my flag, pop it up, and then unhook my treble from the hook holder that's at the base of the flag. Then I can loosen up my main assembly wing nut right there. Make sure that your line guide is slid down. And this is just going to slide down for you. Tighten that nut back up so it doesn't move back and forth. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bait your treble with a minnow set this thing into your hole, pick what setting you want for your flag, 
And now when a fish takes that bait, it's going to make the assembly spin, and that flag's going to pop. Now you know you've got one on. Good luck out there this year. Hope that helped.